In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NH4Br plus AgNO3. That's ammonium bromide plus silver nitrate. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. In this one, it's already balanced, so we're done there. Next, we write the state for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, ammonium compounds are very soluble. AQ means it's going to dissociate into its ions, dissolve in water. Nitrates also very soluble. And then we have ammonium nitrate. That'll be soluble. But this silver bromide, silver compounds you have to be careful with because often they're exceptions to the rules. Bromide's usually soluble. But let's check the solubility table here for the silver bromide. So on our solubility table, we have silver right here, Ag+, plus, and here's the bromide. And you can see that S. Almost all of them are soluble, will dissolve in water, except for silver bromide. We have an I there. That means it's insoluble. It won't dissolve in water. Since it won't dissolve in water, it's going to be a solid. So let's write S here. These two substances will react, and we'll get this solid. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So now that we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So ammonium always has a 1 plus ionic charge. Good one to remember. The bromide ion has a 1 minus. So we'll have NH4 plus plus that bromide ion, Br minus. Silver is a bit of a strange one. It's a transition metal, but it always has that 1 plus ionic charge, and the whole nitrate is always 1 minus. So we'll have our silver ion, Ag plus, plus our nitrate ion, that NO3 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we said plus, and then the nitrate ion minus. We'll have, again, NH4 plus, that's the ammonium ion, and the nitrate ion, NO3 minus. And then for net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. We're just going to keep this as AgBr. This is the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. Here in our reactants, we have the ammonium ion. In our products, we have the ammonium ion. Those are spectator ions. Cross them out. We have the nitrate ion here in the reactants and again in the products. Rid of those. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for NH4 Br plus AgNO3. Let me clean this up, add the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium bromide plus silver nitrate. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have a positive and a negative charge. They balance out net charge of zero. This here, neutral compound, has a net charge of zero, and the atoms are balanced as well. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first. Doesn't really matter. It's the same equation. Maybe it looks a little nicer. Either way, this is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for NH4Br plus AgNO3. Thanks for watching.